Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Alex here, and today I am bringing you some Call of Duty. I am in the Emblem Maker, and normally I don't talk through this. I just put some crappy music on and do a time lapse on an Emblem. But I figured I'd do a little tutorial for people who want to up their Emblem making game. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. As you can see, I already have a picture up. I'm going to pull the one up on my computer because I can't, because I am a good like 10 feet away from my TV and that looks small. So is the Emblem Maker, but I'll live. Okay, so I mean, the first thing you want to do is look at what you're making, get in, have some sort of idea. I'm not going to do the exact thing because that would be boring and easy. I'm just using it for reference and I have it up there so you can see it. So let's put that at an angle. I'm going to make it taller. I'm going to get a. Okay, that's the angle I want. Get that good pill shape going on. Okay. And it's two colors, so I'm grabbing that. And copy and paste so I know it's going to match up with the second color. And again, we're just getting the base shape here. It does not have to be exact. I'm going to turn that 90 degrees. So when I go up on my stick, I have, it actually goes up. I have the red overlap a little bit just because... That's how they do it. That's sort of how they do it in real life. If you really can't see, I'm pinching my thumbsticks to move them as slowly as possible. To kind of rotate that in place. Okay, I got a little bit of an overlap because it looks to me like the red's on top. And pilk, and if you have ever been sick, me when I was at the shop though, I've had to take a pill that had that type of capsule kind of overlaps it's just a gelatin case but now the ends I could go with the half circle but for the sake of not wanting to shoot myself I am choosing to go with a actual regular circle and just nagle it over the end I'm using a different color just so I can see what the circle is being placed once I get it to where I like it then you go back and do the actual color. It doesn't that look so pretty? And one thing, um, this is just relatively easy colors, but if it wasn't, if you're doing like a bunch of blacks and dark colors, take the random object, fit it to screen, you see where your borders are, and it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna make your day a lot easier. So popping back over, I'll just grab the general color. Go. and doesn't that look boring so spice this up we're going to add some shine to it and for shine you just want to find a general shape actually let's do let's just copy this since it's already at the angle we want make it white yeah that looks like it's off to a lot of Trippy as hell. Hang on, I gotta look at my record to see if that actually is. No, on my TV it looks completely different from what you're seeing. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I sound like a lunatic. I mean, we could leave it white, but it's red, so you want to find a little happy, comfy shade. It's gonna be very. It's gonna vary from your opacity. I've had it where I've had it where it's at twenty. It just happens to work out here at 70. And do mind, if you're overlapping, it's going to change. It's going to be double whatever. You have... You see here on the blue. Okay, so seven, that looks like it matches up good. Let's see another shape that would work well. Okay, so over here we had... 70. 
You're just ever so slightly trying to make that gap as less noticeable as possible. Shadow, which I'm going to do a little slightly different. First shadow, same, pretty much the exact opposite of the white. White and clear, black and clear. Cool thing about it is you can play with grays. And I want this one as close to the edge as possible without going over that little overlap. I was going to try and do it in one piece, but I lied. I'm terribly sorry for people who will be offended by my wine. And the next, uh, another thing is to have your, is to put your layers together. I should have done that. That way when you're jumping around, you're not looking around for everything. So for my shade, here's the start, here's the middle, here's the rest of the middle, here's the end. I should be doing it with this guy, but I'm not. You, you want to have your you want to have your layers in the correct layer order, but do have a little bit of organization to it. Otherwise, you're going to be having 300 dots, and you're not going to know which one is yours unless you're scrolling through them all. And as you can see, we have a nice shine going on, some shadow on the bottom, and that pillow looks a hell of a lot better than what we have on the right of the screen. But what is it missing? These giant letters that say CHILL. Which, there are two ways of going about this. You could go and be boring and do find the right shape of your letters, then copy and paste the letters you need, then spell out your word. All capitals, so they know what you're saying. And then just slide them into place like you have seen me do in past emblem videos. If you haven't, I encourage you to go back, check them out. Don't have a thumbs up or comment, just watch them, they're neat. Hopefully gives you some ideas. But doesn't that kind of look boring? And chill on that pill isn't straight. So, what do we do? We go back and rewrite our own. And if you need to make it thicker, just copy and paste. I don't want to make it thicker. But what I do want to do is I want to make the tip of that C. Well, essentially right now, all I'm doing is making zero. Correct, copy and paste, flip it. And do the same thing on the other side. Copy and paste, let's get that uh, shade of red. So it kind of gives us an angle, and that C looks like garbage. Let's do it the way that's going to look neat. Okay, back to this text. Okay. Make your C as large as you can. You're just lining it up with the borders and borders to make sure you have the angle correct. Then you come back for a text, and then come back with your text just so you know where you're placing it. It looks a little off, so don't feel free to adjust it. I mean, it's go. It's not gonna. No one's really going to be able to tell. And then you copy it and spell your word: C H I L L. Boom. Your entire all your letters are the size and shape they need to be. Just spell that word out. And I've I've started it where I've put where I've taken the L and I've placed it over here just so I know how far I have to go. And really on that one I'm just guessing on my spacing. Which doesn't look like I have a lot. Let's put the eye out here, I can just see. And the hard part is making your text look like it's lined up. 
and not just floating randomly up a little, down a little. Because it's gonna, because see how that L's up? If someone left it like that, it's gonna look bad. So the trick is trying to adjust it to make sure it looks right. Like that eye looks a little off. Let's tamp that up. Actually, that eye looks a little angled and funny, so tamp that up and move it over. Give that H some breathing space. Try to make sure I have even space. With the L's, I'm just looking at the bottom because the top is going to have that big block. And that is it for the chill pill. Next thing, add a background. I mean, I have, I only took 17 spaces to make a chill pill with a little bit of extra detail. You know what? Grab something that looks like, an, looks like ice. Let's add the mountains. Why? Because mountains are fun. What do we know about fun? We're only sitting indoors playing video games. Okay, if you wanted to go go there with triangles, that would be cool. If you do go back with triangles, tag me in that because I would definitely show that off. Full credit. Nice little detail there out of the nice mountains. You can do that all around thing. Another one I really, really like to do is the blood splatters. Right now, I'm going to start off with a dark color. Got that one has some nice streaks going on. Not necessarily have to be the same color. Splat. Let's grab another color. Let's put that splat there. Change the size up a little. Copy paste, change colors. I realize the pointlessness of that. Add some, bring some white up to the front. Boom. One I love to do for simple, just because out of the simpleness of it. Let's make it yellow. Bam! Chill! Which, of course, you have the time, you have the space, let's make it green. Which I usually go with a lighter, not as neon color. Let's just go back and grab our... Actually, I kind of like the orange rather with that one. The two colors don't go well with the chill pill color, but you can go back and change them. I'm not, because I'm just demonstrating. I mean, you can play around with the black market stuff. Which, I'm not going to. Oh, I love these guys. Going back to the gradient. Let's go with a nice dark blue and white. Ooh, look pretty little flowers saying chill out. Actually, that kind of looks neat. But that is pretty much it for this episode. I just want to do a little video on on the basics. I'd add some flair. I mean, doing a picture, adding some shading and stuff where it's needed. Hmm. Pill. Come back, I have big fingers and the keyboard on my controller is small. I mean, not everywhere I'll use shaders. Most of these guys I didn't. Well, I don't think any of these guys I use shaders. But as you can see with Alphonse, exploding background looks neat. I did some shading in this guy on the bones and the eyes. Um, shading on him, and if you look at all, it's all 
that one took a while. That's just different. That's just three layers: a black, a dark blue, and a light blue. Doing the entire shape, it uses up. They used every layer just for that one. But I mean, everything is. It's all route really, really simple. I mean, here you can see where I made my own text, and it's a simple design. The G. Oh, it's a square, it's a bunch of squares, and then I just did accent pieces on there because, for example, if I can find it, boom, there's the G. There's the rest, there's the other part of the G. Discard. The Sharky, I did the explosions. And the simpler you can do the design, in my opinion, the better it's going to look. Like, let's take, let's take my Ninja Sushi, for example. Shadows. I just sprayed, made, gave it a gradient. And that added detail. Two pieces for the mouth. That's just add some color to it. A gradient green. Not a gradient, wow. Opacity is down. So I see through. I don't have access to a few other ones because I use my friends' accounts. I make them emblems. And that is pretty much it. This is Sergeant Alex. I hope you enjoyed that this video. If you did, hit hit that like button. Comment down below which one of those emblems you think is the neatest. I'll go cycle through them. We have Chill Pill, we have Shark Attack, we have Pineapple Skull, which I love that one personally. Attack Sushi number two, number one had Butcher's Cleavers. I just didn't say them separately. If I want to change them, I'm just going to go back in there. Good kill. I made a portals, made a little portals um, guy. Chitties and Guns. Blastoise. Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, that's Alphonse Elric, the guy in the armor. Uh, this little steampunk Jolly Rogers mask. And I have this set. Samurai and the flower in the back is supposed to be supposed to look like a cherry blossom and then my my first and personal favorite Hot Chini. If you want I could definitely go do a video on that one Just comment on that one down below. I think that's it. Like the video comment your favorite emblem This is Sergeant Alex and I hope you have a nice day